What's up, y'all? We got uh, Oscar Dominguez here in the booth. Hi. And joining me shortly is Kevin and I got it. Kevin and you got it? Oh, well. Because you have to go and get your wife's food. I, I got to go get my wife food. Yeah. Loses her mind. I know. All right, guys. Well, you guys are going to be left in good hands here. We got uh, Melissa Herndon and Kevin May coming in the booth. We miss you all. change of, of personnel here. It looks like this is the second game. Uh, if the score is updated correctly, it's uh, no. Um, hmm. Oh, it looks like sorry guys, just trying to get the logistics done here. There is a little bit of confusion because uh, Luke was... Oh, this is not Luke Lau. Sorry, this is Francis and Cena. Okay. We have Francis Rita Rita, and actually he's gonna probably shoot again because he doesn't realize, but he just made the nine ball. And he's got a good look at the two ball here. Uh, he can draw it to the side rail above the side pocket and play the three down the rail. Or he can try and float it forward and pay the three in the opposite corner pocket uh, down past the, the side pocket. But I think he'll draw this ball and try and stay above the, the side pocket here. Four ball doesn't go past the seven or the eight, so look for him to make this ball and potentially play safe on the four. Well, he drew that real well. Actually, overran it a little bit. It looked like he maybe wanted to play the four in the side. It looks like he's still gonna go for it. Francis, I played him one time. He is definitely an offensive player. He wants to shoot out. This will be a great shot if he makes it. Risky though, because he yeah. he took a flyer at it. And What's the score? Two two. It is two two. Okay. It's Kevin and Melissa show you. Kevin and Melissa show. Yeah, Melissa and Kevin show. Sorry. <laughs> Seen as the hot new. Uh, Right? Hot new player on tour. Hey, he's been doing very, very, very well. Yeah. He's a nice guy there, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah, he's very nice. I, I, I gambled him a li little bit. Just friendly, friendly, yeah, friendly yeah. you know, but gentleman, never cheats, never, you know, you don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. He's got that snooker, uh, looks like, snooker background. Yeah. He's got the snooker stance like uh, Sargon does. Yeah, he certainly does. He doesn't miss many balls. But uh, I'm guessing his patterns are kind of wacky because he does. He's not used to the nine ball. Yeah, but it's. I, I'm seeing it. I mean, he's been here. He's been in San Diego now. I don't know, at least six months, maybe longer. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm seeing he's figuring it out. He's okay. figuring out how to play this game, and that's going to mean uh, it's going to mean trouble for the rest of us. <laughs> well, I'm guessing his his prowess is probably going to get him knocked to an eight next season. So. Yeah. 
say knocked, I'll say elevated, like it's a good thing. Yeah, I spoke, I spoke to him about it um, during the week, and he said, yeah, he's like, I want to be an eight. Yeah. Said, That's the compliment. Oh. It is. Didn't you feel good when they bumped you to an eight? Yeah. Except I stopped playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you look to, like, stay below the eight ball here so you have a natural angle going to the nine or do you try and pull it back a little bit and then use the rails to get from the I, eight I to like, the nine? I like to roll this forward to get okay. below the eight so I can go side rail, side, side rail. It looks like he's pulling it back a little bit though. Oh, oh well, that looks kind of straight. It right. does look, you might have a small angle. I like what you, I think you you were going with the roll it forward Roll it forward, bit. yeah. I think he's just to draw this down the side rail now. He still managed to do the, the same shot. It's the angle looked a little different to us. He overran it a little bit because he put, uh, maybe didn't need quite that much English on it. Yeah. But this is what the snooker players do best is just pop balls. So. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. That cue ball's still rolling though. Figured out the keyboard and everything. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so this was a this is a uh, Francis and eight, right? Francis is an eight, yeah. Okay. That's why I got a little confused for a second because this here it said two two on the but on Oscar hadn't updated oh, okay. this, so it said two one. And I was like. So Francis must have won the first game. Eight. And I can't. I don't know where the chat room is. This is one of Cena's weaknesses playing with playing him is his break. Even with the magic rack, which you think <laughs> I played him for five hours one night and he couldn't make the wing ball with the magic rack. Really? It was quite astonishing. Like, you see he missed the wing ball there too. I mean he made another ball but he um He's he, just gotta study because it's yeah. really I mean he, I mean he's breaking too hard, I think is what it is. Mm -hmm. Which you never want to tell someone not to break hard because <laughs> You're supposed to break hard. <laughs> You're supposed to. <laughs> but uh, these these are the little things that he uh, that he doesn't quite know yet. I was breaking good and playing terrible, so I. Yeah. <laughs> you had a good match this last match, right? Yeah, I played I played pretty well. I didn't break well, but I played well. Played I had the opposite of you. <laughs> I'll take your your problem over my problem. Oh, you put Bobby Yamasaki, who's come on strong this year. Yeah, he's been very solid. Well. So I was, I was happy with that win. Super Seven. Yeah, he took him down. So. Yeah, he's another one. I don't know what they're doing with the handicap system next year, but he's another one that's right on the fringe, I think, of, mm -hmm. of being an eight. See, that's the kind of shot he just doesn't miss. It's like, you know, that should be a tough shot. But mm -hmm. if, one of the things is he's not scared of leaving himself distance. No. So, I mean, the shots become easier when you're not. Kind of get perfect shape. You know? Right. But he also has quite a powerful stroke, which I think people un underestimate. Usually, when I see the snooker player, at least when they first start out playing nine ball and things like that, it's it's the little kind of. Um, Finesse shots. Yeah, the touchy they, shots. The touch shots yeah. that they, they miss and, and or struggle with, like little safeties and things yeah. like that. They, they're used to just creating distance for a safety instead of, you know, locking it down behind a ball. I think a lot of it has to do with, um, you know, having played a little bit of sneaking myself, there's um, the cloth, the, having a nap on the cloth versus a smooth Simonis cloth is mm -hmm. a, a big difference. That's why if you watch, I mean, the, the very... You don't play on uh, Simonis on, um, I thought it was uh, the really super fast Simonis on the snooker table. No. It's, uh, it's nappy? It's nappy. It's oh. like, um, 
I guess you'd have to see one to understand. But yeah, I mean, they have an iron that they actually mm -hmm. iron mm -hmm. it in one direction. Um, and that's why most snooker players don't tend to use a lot of side spin. Mm -hmm. Because you can imagine with a nappy cloth, that means it's going to swerve a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so when you watch you know, the top guys, you'll just see them using top and bottom a lot. Oh, you missed that ball. Right. And he was stretching a lot, but you'll still be disappointed with that. One thing I've noticed, I've, I've been watching Cena on the stream here at the Mez because I haven't been traveling too much, is I think his opponents get a little intimidated by his the, the snooker style. Mm -hmm. They see it and they're like, you know, this guy's never going to miss. I think it kind of gets in people's head a little bit. So maybe you have to learn to play them a little bit differently. Play a lot of safety, you know. Yeah, make, make them play their weaknesses. Right. Well, he got away with him here because he's he left did. Francis. I mean, he's up either a bank or he's got to play safe, but he can't really. Yeah, it looks like he's playing all that safety. I like it. If he can get that, then that five ball and get that cue ball down here behind the seven nine, even if he doesn't get it behind there, he leaves, uh, he didn't hit that very well. Actually. No, he didn't. And, and again, this is the thing. He hit the five ball too thick. You need to hit it much, much thinner and you can actually leave that five ball on that end rail down yeah. there. This, this is where Cena excels. Although he does have him stuck on the side rail, which does make this shot you know, quite a bit harder. But I think all he has to do is make it, and he'll have he'll have some kind of shot on the six. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's awkward. It's very awkward. It's hard to get good on the six. See if he misses it on the pro side. We won't know if he's learning or not. Oh, he didn't even try to make it. Interesting. See, and I think that's actually smart, and that's what. Yeah, maybe he's learning. I mean, he, I think he hit it too thin. Then he wanted to, though. I think. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, but. I'm saying, you know, you, these because they, they, they pocket ball so well. Mm -hmm. you see them go for everything all the time. Yeah. And uh, it's good to kind of play this cat and mouse game and, and play safeties. I think he's, he should be trying to bang this down behind the nine and use the six of the blocker too. He's got a lot of block. Oh, he actually went for it. I thought he would bank that two rails down towards the nine. Right. And the cue ball would kind of drift behind the six anyway. Okay, that's interesting. That's not how I, that's not what I would have done. So I just learned something there. That's a good shot. I don't really see that, so. so He's gotta watch out and not run into the seven nine here. Oh, he went backwards. Interesting, that, that's, that's one of those things. Like you, you would have gone forward, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, one he of the put things. outside on that ball, and I don't, I don't understand it because it's carrying you away from the six yeah. ball. But he, he kind of got away with it a little bit. Yeah. I mean, this is no this bargain. Is, no, if you make it though, I think you're pretty natural. Just it's going to come straight down. Yeah. So where's the uh, main man, main man raw today? Um, I'm not sure. I know, uh, I, I know actually that raw's been very busy. You know, with the acting and all. Mm -hmm. he, um, I think he's in the middle of a project right now. So I don't. I think that that might be where where okay. he's at. I know he was recently somewhere you mean else. You to say he used the mez as a stepping stone into an acting? No, 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 no. <laughs> if you had, you, uh, I, I know he was in stuff before. I just. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to give him a hard time. He was in one of my favorite shows, one of, when HBO started doing their like original series and stuff mm -hmm. like that. He was in the TV show Oz, the prison one. Okay. Yeah. Now is he the wrong side of the six here? I think he's slightly on the wrong side and quite flat. He, he, can, he can do this, he can smooth it with inside, high inside. Yeah. And, uh, and come across the, yeah, and get about that, to where that's he's where saying. That's where he's looking at, yeah. You can get him a lot farther actually down there, but you gotta be real smooth with this, not jabby. See, yeah. you can get down there. Yeah, you got That's a really good shot. Yeah. I'm surprised. Francis can't let him walk over him like this. Francis I think you know, I think a lot of it's psychological is I mean, I've seen it with other snooker players too. They don't, they don't play that good, but people just get scared by it. <laughs> you can't say Cena doesn't play that good. He plays no, good. I mean, he plays good. But yeah. I'm, not, I'm just saying I've seen it with other, yeah. you know, lesser players too. It's like 
And you hear people saying that, oh, this guy plays snooker, you know, it's just like a psychological thing, like, that makes him a good nine ball player. And that's not necessarily true. Didn't I? Oh, you said you had it. You I thought I did. There we go. I gotta be in the little, I gotta click on that part. Okay, so it's four, four, two. Cena started at two, and uh, Prince started at one, so it's two one. Yeah. It's not too out of control. Uh, yeah, they're essentially on break right now. Yeah. You know, Cena's had two breaks, Francis had one. Mm -hmm. But Francis has to break serve because he's given him a game. Right. So. Yeah. And when you see Francis get going, Francis plays great. Oh no, I. Well, I think it was the first Mez stop. It was certainly one of the first ones. It was um, Sacramento, hard times there. I played Francis in uh, the second or third round and I ended up winning comfortably, but he was missing like the seven ball or the eight ball. Mm -hmm. and, like one of the one of the last few balls in every rack. But like the rest of the rack was flawless every time. I was just like, oh my god, who is this kid? And I said to Desiree, I was like, I was like this that kid is like one ball away from being a really good player. And then all of a sudden he found that ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was mm -hmm. like... He came with a good break, had a good shot on the one, the two balls hanging. So really, I mean... I think this is the... This is the yeah, this is the shot you've got to be a little bit careful on, I think. Mm -hmm. Three to the four, and then uh, actually the... Six the to the eight's going to be a little tough. Six top. to the eight's a little tough. Yeah. Oh, I think he just got jacked up. He tree topped himself. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he, it's all right though. He just, only he has just to make, make it, ball. yeah. But still, it's a little hard. I think he's queuing pretty flat, so I think he's okay. So smooth. So what do you like? To, uh, where where are you trying to get on the six ball? I'm coming down to the middle of. The, oh, uh, I'm going to leave myself a good angle so I can go back and forth across the table. So you um, so you leave the angle go back and forth rather than try and spin it three rails? E either way. So you, but you still have to have an angle to okay. do that. You don't want to be flat on, on that ball. So Otherwise much, you come so way too much, long on the eight. Pretty much middle of the table. Mm -hmm. See, now he's checked up here. Yeah. And I, I, and he and got away with it and yeah. gave him the hand. I, <laughs> <the> hand. <laughs> I like the hand. I know some people don't like it. I think it's good to acknowledge that you got lucky sometimes. He was going to have a hard time here going from the six to the eight anyway. Yeah. Because he left himself so far. I think Francis plays great, and he uh, makes balls, and he, but I think he goes a little too fast and doesn't necessarily like try and pick a spot for his cue ball mm -hmm. where he wants it to be specifically. Yeah, because where he was in the four ball, he, he could have controlled his position on the five mm -hmm. a little better, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what Cena's got here. It looks like he can kick one rail and just stick it there, I'm trying to leave the five on the middle of the top rail, I think. He actually drew it back behind yeah, the nine. Yeah, Great yeah, shot. Very nice. Francis gave him a little snap there. Now Francis actually has a... Looks like he can kick to either side rail. You think he can go to the left side? He's going, I, I do, but he'd have to mess it a little okay. bit. I think he's, he's going to go this way he's gonna to try aim, and make He's going to aim and try and go two rails here. And Made it. Yeah, and that's where you want him to be on the six, right? Kind yeah. of. Yeah. I mean, it's little, a little bit farther distance. away, but this is a good angle. Now I go forward here. Okay. With inside, you got a good angle for it, but you could go backwards too. I mean, you can yeah, backwards. Just, you could just, draw it. You're just messing around with the side pocket potentially there. Mm -hmm. Under here. Yeah. That's the only problem with that is people do try to underhand yeah. it a little bit. It looked like you maybe hit the six a little thick. Mm -hmm. So it took some speed off the cue ball. Now he needs to play safe here. You're playing two rails with the cue ball to get behind a nine? Is that what you're looking at? I don't know if he's got enough angle to do that. What do you do? I you're right, he, he might have too much... Uh, the cue ball might be too too, too far down. I just, this this looks like a tough shot to me. Like, I feel like the safety... I feel like he can get safe, but he's not going to get the best of it. You know, he's he's going to have to leave him a shot at... Like, he's going to be able to see the nine, the eight ball. Right. So that's going to work out how he wanted it to. Yeah. But I think I don't think it was possible for him to get the hook there. No. The best he could have done no. was leave the ape on the middle of the, the top rail. Middle, right middle of the top rail. 
and sometimes that's good enough, even with the cube in the middle of the table. It is. What are, you're forcing them to bank or play safe back, yeah. absolutely. What you don't want to do is leave them where they can cut them all in and run out. Yeah. So he's put an outside on this one again. Uh, maybe not. He, he looked like he was queuing up with the outside. But... That was kind of a tentative stroke. Almost. Yeah. He's all right, but I think he wanted to come down a little bit further. It's the only ball you ever really want to be straight in on. It's a nine ball. He's that good, though. Yeah, Francis doesn't. Francis looks a little. I don't know. Gino and Jason Crystal. He's not quite in it yet. Like mentally, he doesn't look like he's quite in it yet. Just looking at him sat in his chair, that is. A little frustrating. I know how he feels. And then you try and get it yourself into it. Sometimes you've given up too much of a lead. Yeah. I shouldn't say this, but I will, because I do know Cena, and he won't take it personally, but Cena's uh, definitely a much better front runner than a comeback. If you, put, if you put heat on him and get ahead of him, he will start missing balls. A lot of, a lot of people are like that, yeah. though. Honestly, everybody's more comfortable in the front. Yeah, ab absolutely, but I mean, it's like if you want him to miss balls, you, you need to get you gotta ahead. Gotta put a little heat on him. Otherwise, he will just start <laughs> freely and you know, making everything. Well, good to know, good to know. <laughs> that's why I shouldn't give out that information, but... He's, he's Honestly, good... I don't feel like you're giving out anything there, because again, most, most players, are, a majority of the people are like that. Yeah. You know, nobody wants to be playing from behind. Well, also, everybody. also, getting ahead is easier than said than done. I mean, you got to... See, he's missing that wing ball high. Well, I guess that's where you're supposed to miss it. But with a magic rack, you'd expect to make it. I don't know. I'm not going to give him any advice on the break. <laughs> that's the Why would you? <laughs> Alright, what are you doing here? Because I think the cue ball runs right into the seven. Or, I mean, the six. No, he, he might be able to thin it and get yeah, past it. Looking at it from, not on the t like looking at the table, it looks like he can get past the six. He's going to hit it real thin, though. Almost overcut it, right? Oh, no, and he's got to get through that gap. Look out, look out. A little nice. friendly bump. A little friendly bump. A lot of things could have gone wrong there, but... <laughs> I think, I mean, he think he had to swing at it, take a chance. I mean, even if he missed it, he was... He had a good chance of getting safe. He did rush that one a little bit. I see yeah. what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. So he, he kind of got down, and then he reset, and he, like, two-stroked and just... Yeah. He, he, you know, and now he's left himself awkward on the three and he's gonna I think he's just gonna roll it up and take a long angle on the four. That's just not what you wanna do. Yeah. Especially with the five actually being a little tricky here. He has to try and he has to almost pound this four boy now to get off the rail enough to make the five. I don't inside. I try and play the five nine here. And You're only play the because five nine? Okay. It, because it of where he's at. Because of where he's at. Yeah, okay. Unless he has more angle than I can tell. See, it's tough to get down there now, yeah. but he's on the wrong side to get to the six. Yeah, yeah I mean, he hit he's that just ball. making it harder and harder. He hit that ball really well, and still, like you said, it still didn't quite get the right side. He might end up making this nine anyway. Or he could end up hooking himself behind the eight. Oh, he, he can get around there. Oh, we well, that was just, a good shot. We should just keep quiet. Right? <laughs> right? What do I know? It did not look like Listen, he, get he was on the there. wrong side of that ball. It he, worked he, out for him, he but was. he was on the wrong yeah. side. Oh, that was tentative. No, he is definitely jacked up over the eight. I think he has the right angle, though, just to stun it back a little bit. But actually, shot back like six inches. Yeah, you want to get kind of straight on the eight. You don't want too much angle because then mm -hmm. you're going into the nine. He looks like he's straight enough. Yeah. So you can go forward here, play what the you, nine. Yeah, what do you prefer? Just a preference kind of thing? I have to, yeah, I probably, because I don't want to draw it. Sometimes you can draw it right into that side pocket. Uh, yeah. Bam. Yeah. That's what I said. Sometimes he, you can draw it right into the side pocket. So why not just go ahead and play it yeah. down the rail? Yeah, if you get straight on that nine down the rail, it's, it's as easy as playing it the other way. That's, a, that's a heartbreaker right there. Yeah. Because 5-3 is a lot different than 6-2. Mm -hmm. He definitely, um, he stunned it more than drew it. That mm -hmm. was the problem. But why even take that chance? Yeah. 
No, I think you're right. I mean, a lot of time it, there's, a, there's like a millimeter there. It's like, okay, if it's this, if it's millimeter this way, drawing it's the right mm -hmm. shot. Mm -hmm. But the safer shot was to definitely just follow it down. And he could have hit. He could have hit the eight easier, give himself a better chance of making the eight. And, and the thing is, is I think that like if he was ahead right now, I think he probably would have hit that great. But I think yeah. some somewhere in your brain, you know what I mean. You kind of you miss stroke it a little bit because you're under the gun. Yeah. And uh, no, no, that's absolutely true. It's interesting. Francis didn't make the wing ball either, so maybe the table's not racking quite right. They're having a racket in a different this spot. The tightest table now. Uh, the four of them are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. They're all four inches. Um, but they do, some of them do have, um, you know, a little problem where the, the one ball spot is. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to rack, even with a magic rack, you have to put it in a slightly different spot. Okay. And that could be the situation here. It looks like he's going to go back and forth across the table. He's just a little, oh, seven, he hit that good. But, but, but he keeps leaving himself on yeah. the rail. Which makes it difficult because the four ball is down here by the nine. Is that the four? Okay, mm -hmm. I couldn't tell if that was four or the eight. Maybe it's the eight. Let's see. He's he's kind of. Uh, okay, maybe it's the eight. Yeah, That's the good. Eight. So but he's playing for the five now. So I'm seeing what's happening here. He's using the uh, he's using the give up stroke a little bit. He's moving fast. But sometimes it gets you going. Yeah. He needs to be precise here. He needs to figure out where he needs to be to get from the 7 to the 8 because the 8 is tucked in a little bit behind the 9. Yeah. And you don't want to leave the to keep short and left himself on the round. Yeah, and I think the 8 actually passes the 9 into the bottom left, so I would have played for the other side of the 7. It does. It's just, this is just a, now difficult. He's got a thin cut on the 7. Do you think he's going to have to leave himself thin on the 8 too? Just come back to the center of the table here. I think he can spin it and get over here, maybe by like the second diamond on the side rail okay. over here. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at the table. He has, a, he actually has, yeah, he has two ro two diamonds at that side. Just a rail. little bit below where that piece of chalk is, yeah. and he could probably get in there. You just don't want to overspin it and hook yourself with the nine ball here. Yeah. Yep. He just pointed exactly where you said. He looks at Jack. I don't bit. jack up there. Yeah. So he's gonna get a little bit more action off this cute off this rail than he's expecting. I think that worked out. Does it go? Oh, I don't know. It did, and now I don't think it does. I mean, he's got, he can play a good safety here. Oh, he's going to play the combo, but I think, I think you're right. He should just roll up and tuck mm -hmm. up behind the nine. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't like this. I think, I think this is an element of frustration. Mm -hmm. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get myself back in here, but yeah, I think you're right. The shot. Oh, you know what Oscar would play here? Oscar would lock you down. Maybe he hit it good. All right. Francis showing a little, a little oh. fight in him. <laughs> also, also that scene of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm, don't go to sleep on me, because I'll all of a sudden it'll be six six. Francis just kind of did a little wobble, like <laughs> like I'm getting hit, but I'm still standing. <laughs> Right. Another another bad habit of seen is I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lay it all out about Cena because I know him I know him better than anybody. <laughs> is uh, sometimes when he gets ahead, like you know when he has a comfortably like six two mm -hmm. seven three whatever, he does take his foot off the gas a little bit. He does and take his what? He takes his foot off the gas a little bit. Oh. And he knows it. He actually knows it. He said it to me himself. He said, yeah, I get ahead sometimes and I like, just kind of lose focus for a little bit, and then all of a sudden my opponent's back in the match. You know, I, and I. I, I recognize that in, in a lot of players. Yeah. When it comes to seasoning, right? When you, mm -hmm. you see, you don't, when you see seasoned players, they don't, they don't make those mistakes. Well, I mean, seniors, I seniors well, are young. You know, I've been playing for 20 something years <laughs> and I, I do it sometimes just depending on the opponent. I wouldn't do it against somebody like you or Cena or Francis, right? Yeah. Even with a 6-2 lead, I'm still going to try as hard as I can. But there are players out there that I feel very comfortable with that lead. Yeah. And I might, I might lose focus. I'm, I might bear down and try and kill them, but. <laughs> so what does he have? Is a five ball? No, I don't think. He can play the one five. He can, but I mean, he's, he's, he's not guaranteed shape, and it's a tough shot. But what safety does he have? 
if you, no, I don't see a lot of safeties either. I mean, if you could thin off the one, you could do something, but I think it's, I think it's. Yeah, it's gonna come in between that, that two and that side. I don't really think he can, ideally he'd like to get down behind the eight, nine, but I don't yeah, think he can. I think, yeah, he's going more towards the side pocket. So, mm -hmm. I think he's, I think he's So he may behind. overcut this one ball a little bit, and now he's going to try and draw it behind the six? What's going on? Yeah. Okay. So he, he basically cut the one into the rail to put it down table yeah. and then tried to get behind the, the six ball. And I think he got there. I think he got there. I mean, like maybe a half a ball. And what is, you know, what can Francis do here? Even with a jump, he's going to make the Yeah, I think, the one I think five? he can see it, which means he can bank it towards the bottom rail. But he's got to avoid the nine coming back with mm -hmm. the cue ball, so. Okay. You don't want to line it up. Right. Uh, yeah, the, the, the nine's too high, or the one's too low, I should say. Mm -hmm. But the one does go if he feels like cutting it. Um, you're going to have to avoid the four ball with the yeah. two ball. Yeah, right? I don't, I don't That's think, the two on the side rail, right? Yeah, two's on the other side. I think so I think there's a good safety here. Just follow it forward, yeah. back it straight back up table. Yeah. you got to miss the line here. <laughs> uh, that was the only touchy bit about that, right? Well, this is what I'm. This is like a shot that maybe they're not familiar yeah. with, and they don't know how to hit it. He cued low, and uh, you kind of have to hit that one like high hit inside. It. Yeah, it looked like he put some inside on it though. Um, so he knew that part of it. Francis, that well? Yeah, he got it. Really had an opportunity to tuck it in there between that eight and that he nine. Did. But actually, to be fair, well, I guess yeah, he would have made him kick three rails instead of two, which is. A... Cena actually kicks surprisingly well. Um, although it looks like he's got one rail hit, which is surprising. Is he? No, no, maybe not. Yeah, he he kicks he kicks surprisingly well, given you know you don't normally associate that with snooker players. Mm -hmm. And he uses an interesting technique. Um, you see how he's a little bit higher when he's kicking? I do that sometimes. Yeah, it helps you see it, I think. That's, the pattern. that's exactly what he said. He said it helps him see the, the path of the keyboard. Lay out of the there. table, yeah. Now, I, I like what he tried to do there, even though he didn't execute it well. He was trying to thin that one ball and leave yeah. it right there, forcing Francis the you know, the one five still. Yeah, he missed the kick, but he missed it because he was trying to be precise. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the problem with that is ball in hand to Francis Rita Rita. Yeah, and uh, pretty, uh, he probably wants to play the four on, four on the side just to avoid dealing with the combination. But other than that, this rack is pretty open. He overcut that. Yeah. And he's left Cena top. Yeah, but this is this is Cena. Makeable. This is Cena shot. <laughs> What's he gonna do though? He's just gonna snap this ball back, even though he looks like he had that angle. Draw it back? He can't use the rail. No, he's gonna draw it straight back between the three and the six. Even though he's got that slight off angle, yeah. I think you'll see. This is where you'll, so you'll see his Q power. He, he tried to pinch it too much. Mm -hmm. right? he, he, he forgot to cut the ball a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, he kind of got away with it again. I mean, Francis has a bank in the side, which I think he's supposed to make here. You go for it? His safeties haven't been that effective. They haven't. Honestly, and, and, so. and given he's behind, I think you go for this. I think you. you hit it, and if you hit it the good speed, you still. You still have a chance to get the safe, yeah. But he actually looks like he played a... Uh, he still left him a window right between yeah. that 4-6. I think. I think you're right. I think he can see it. I think he can see the whole ball. But he's got to play a safety here. So what's he going to do? It's not really an easy safety. Try and use that 8 and minus blockers. Do you see anything else? No. Maybe the 6 ball. Just to kind of try and go rail to rail. The 6, the 8 at the line. It's going to depend on how this kicks out. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> it could have gone either way there. Yeah. But France, uh, France has got rewarded for, 
you know, even though he didn't hook him, it was still a pretty good safety. The two ball he could have, what he could have done was um, hit it like a quarter ball, move the two to the side rail, you know, the cue ball to the side rail, maybe hooked it with a six, but that's yeah. it. Francis hit that too fat. Yeah, I thought he was actually going to get rail first there. And go forward? Yeah. That's what I would have done. But what do I know? I'm sitting here and he's playing, so. <laughs> Yeah, See another the, safety here? Thin off the right side of it, I think. That's a really hard shot. It looks... You need it look easy, but that's a hard shot to hit that ball thin enough. But he has a window again. Mm -hmm. Gasina has the same problem here. This is actually a good spot for a safety in this, in this current layout. He can layout. only hit the right side of that three ball, though. Oh, he can? Uh -huh. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's... You might... I'm not gonna lie, you might cut this in. Nope. Yeah. He hit it good. Yeah. That was a, he used the four knowing that he, well he used the fact that the worst he could leave there was a combination. Mm -hmm. And he's actually put put Francis in a tough spot. What what are you doing? I kick hard. No, he can hit it. He can hit this. Already? Okay. Yeah. I just don't know where where he can get with the cue ball. Oh, I like it. He didn't get to see, but. Seagull number 14. He's left seen that shot, but he left him as tough as. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as tough as. Good, yeah. Without being hooked. Yeah, and he was in a tough, tough spot himself, to so that was, that was a good shot. Table 20, Nyan and Spencer even raised to 7. Table 20, Nyan and Spencer even raised to 7. It's just interesting, Cena doesn't normally think about these shots. He normally just fires these in. Like, yeah, when the shape is kind of natural, he doesn't normally take, he, he's slowing down a bit. And that, that may be why he's been doing so well on the tour. He's not giving up games for free by missing. You see how pure that was. I mean, he could have made that in a three inch block. This is the kind of out that really takes your opponent and knocks them off their feet. Yeah. Because, you know, you felt like you hit it as good as you could with what you had, and you left the guy long, and he fired it in like nobody's business. Yeah. Thank you. He wants to make sure he. He doesn't want to have to deal with the 8 and 9 off the 5, so he kind of wants to leave himself the other angle. Oh, okay, he left himself, I think he just left himself to follow up one rail, right? Mm -hmm. This is a speed shot now, rather than rather than coming into the line, he's going across the line. So do you but play it like the, the 6 ball, do you go with inside and kind of play it like caddy corner to where the 5 ball is now, or do you try and stop in the perfect line, come out the middle of the table and play the 6 in the along that same side rail, but in the there, like that. Yeah, that's, I would have played it the same way he did. Um, I can't see how... It's, oh no, he's okay. He he's can, okay. Yeah. I think there was more margin for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree, I'm just saying. It's just asking what do you think. Yeah, watch out, not draw it into the side pocket here. Yeah, and not overhit it. I mean, he actually has a reasonable amount of angle. He overhit it. He overhit it. I, see, I just don't see all, uh, I don't see any need for that much movement at all. Yeah, he put he put some outside English on that ball. Yeah, where I think he could have hit it with a flat a flat cue ball. Mm -hmm. um, I mean he really worked himself here. Yeah, this is this is a no flying for Francis. You can kick it two rails here, but you're pretty much you're pretty much gonna sell out if you don't make it. Yeah, you make it in the side or you sell out. There's really no He can come up and down. He has a chance to hit it good, maybe even play it off the nine if he comes straight up and down, but yeah. it's a tough hit. You don't wanna go the side rail. I mean what's he gonna do? You gotta go two rails here, but unless he hits it where he can put the park the eight ball, you know, come in behind it, bank it to the side rail and back to the top. Yeah. I think it looks like he's going to hit the top side of the eight from what I'm looking at. I mean, he, oh, he's going to get a bit of a roll. Well, I mean, a roll, well, so he made it tough. I mean, Francis should yeah. be able to make this ball down this round. Yeah. But like you said, I mean, the, the, the 
kick he had, he, he was almost sorry to sell out something. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a way, the fact that he left him a reasonably top shot is, is kind of a win. But uh, yeah, I expect Francis to roll this in. Watch out to not, not overstroke this and scratch on the side. Oh my god. Thick. He might get away with it. Uh, I think he tried to put a little inside on it to make sure he didn't scratch on the side, right? Yeah, look, I mean, given, given he hit it thick and he still ended up below the side pocket, I think he must have. I don't do that there. I mean, I really just focus on trying to make that ball. Yeah, well, it's like this short here, right? I mean, you can spin this and try and get perfect on line, but forget about it. Just just go across the table. Hit it at the speed you're comfortable with. I mean, you want to make sure you don't end up on the, the right-hand right rail, but that's about the only spot. You probably get balls as good as he does. Maybe just take what you can. Just make the, make yeah. the ball. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. He does seem to be over, like, thinking too much now. Yeah, no, I agree. I look for him to undercut this, maybe. Maybe scratch. Looks like he may be trying to put a little inside on it. When I look on the monitor, I can't tell. Him. Yeah, I undercut it. Uh, and bounces it off. He might have a sh no no shot. And got away with it. There's been a few of those in this, in this game so far. <laughs> Nothing more frustrating though. Is he, he looks like he's trying to cut this ball in. Okay, he's going back up. Is that? What? Okay, I can't what, tell you. What, what do you like here? I mean, I don't see a good speed. I like he, that. You like that? Okay. Uh, I mean, you want to hit a little speed, bit harder. Yeah, better speed, but. Okay. I think he got to where he can't really. He doesn't have like a natural harem. He'd have to jack up, draw yeah. it back a little bit. But he, he does he does have a shot on A in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, if, he, like I say, if he overcuts it, he's likely to be safe. And I'm looking at the monitor. It looks like he's going for it. Oh, he missed the ball with the other. All right, I've never seen that happen. Even seen is confused. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> that wasn't a super thin cut. I mean, it was thin, but it wasn't. <laughs> you let your cue ball go back and forth here? Or yeah. do you try and draw it back? Just draw no, it out no, a little I, bit, twist the ball in, and hold position. Go back and I forth. Did, yeah, I, I hit it like that. I mean, Perfect. It, yeah. It also, some of that depends on how, how good you're feeling. Mm -hmm. But, uh, okay. It's a, a potential turning point in the match. Especially, yeah, break. especially from a psychological point of view, like Cena's missing now, mm -hmm. right? Cena's kind of not... And look at him sitting over there. Yeah, his head's hanging. It's... So, Francis puts a break and run together here, and then we've got a, we've got a brand new match. Mm -hmm. You guys can't see it. I wish I could change the angle, but Cena's <laughs> sitting in a booth over there, and like, literally, his, he looks like a dog with a broken neck. His <laughs> head's hanging down. He's balancing his cue on the table. <laughs> well, Francis is open for like maybe a short rack or yeah. like a wide open rack that he can run out and get comfortable. What he's Fran not looking for is, did he oh. make a ball? Oh. He didn't make a ball. Oh, he's going to get a short rack. Oh, he made the say. five. Yeah, he did. But that one and nine, I was like, oh, he could get the short rack. But look at oh, I smell pizza. Mmm. I want a slice of pizza. Yeah, I smell pizza too. <laughs> Um, oh, can we? Can I order a slice of pizza for me? Um, yeah. Are you just one? Um, two? Okay. Yeah. So he, ordering dinner. <laughs> he has he has an owl here. I mean, he does. Yeah, you know, that that was probably the toughest shot of the round. Was that shot? And actually, he got a little fortunate that six ball kind of actually put him on the right side of the yeah. two to get to the right side of the three. Till seven. Let me get Romeo Gallegos. Maybe how often does this happen though? You make you make a mistake, you, you have a bad rack, and your opponent, every time. And then your no. opponent breaks and runs. It's Good angle here. You want to keep an angle on the four so you can get middle of the table for this, uh, you know, from the six to the seven, yeah. middle of the table. Oh, he missed. He jabbed it. Yeah, he 
he's looking at his back hand. You can see he kind of twisted, he twisted. It, he twisted a little bit. He was trying to, it looked like he tried to at the last minute throw some inside on it or something for some yeah. reason. I don't think he need to. Cena, Cena jumped up like like they called his name for the lottery. <laughs> and he slows slowing himself down now. Yeah, he wants to make sure he gets out here. He, know, he knows this is very important. And it should have been six five. He now has a good opportunity to make it seven four and breaking. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was very rainy. It was. <laughs> we got some characters up in this pool room sometimes. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah. Why? I mean, that, that's, I think that's why he was looking at it. I mean, I think it was weird. On the monitor, the angle looked very different from looking at the table. Even so, though, he could have created he could have done any something. angle yeah. he wanted right there. Yeah, he, he had enough. He wasn't jerked. He wasn't on the rail or anything like that, so... And I think that six ball is frozen or close to frozen, which makes that bank... No bueno. Yeah, and he can't, he can't really hit it with inside because the, the scratch is almost inevitable. Do you like thinning the six ball, like, kind of on the top of it with a little bit inside and maybe trying to actually get the key ball over behind the nine? Yeah, behind the nine. Yeah, so Leave the six ball right there? It's a nice shot if you execute it, it's just, you know, it's, it's tough. I like that, you tried that, to create distance. Yeah, I mean... Almost got there. Yeah, that was a, that was a creative shot. Uh, France is taking a break, which I think is probably a good move. Good you ball. fire in the hole here? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I mean there, what's the, there's no good safety. <laughs> Oscar could probably come up with some great safety where you have out. I mean, he can. If he wants to play kind of a two-way shot, although I think it's too thin, he could try and bank across the corner and bring the cue ball back down table. But you I don't better, think... You know, avoid kisses and yeah. all that stuff. And I swear to God, when, kiss, when balls kiss, you never get, like, a good roll off of it. No, it always just leaves them straight yeah, in. Yeah, I mean, given that the six, it looks like the cue ball and the six are aiming pretty much at the corner pocket. Mm -hmm. That means the kiss is definitely on. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, I don't think he can hit it with the right speed to leave the six ball on the top rail. Like if you miss it, that's why you hit it right. You hit it to mm -hmm. kind of miss it on the thin side. But I think if he does that, yeah, so I, I don't know. I think you're right. I think he just. Oh, I don't want to say he's right behind me, but I think he. I think you go for this. I think you may. I'll yeah. do. I think it, these ones are some. I feel like they're a little bit easier because what. What you're looking at is like the six the nine ball is basically kind of in the way of making the six ball in the yeah. pocket. So you just have to determine and make slight adjustments. I like this more than like if the six ball was way off and you're trying to make it really cut the nine in. Yeah. Let's see, it's tough. Let's see what he chooses to do here. It's interesting. I want this gum. He's, he's looking at the cross bank that I talked about. I don't um, like the cross bank here. What's he going to do? He might... Uh, I don't think he has... He might double kiss here. Sure. Thank you. Oh, he... So he didn't even... He wasn't actually even trying to play the bank. He was trying to play a pure safety. But and did. he's put the six ball so close to the, the corner pocket that it's actually very easily makeable. Yeah. I don't like it. I'd have fired at that point. <laughs> Cena likes to hit things hard. You can see it slow rolling because he's going to have to hit this fairly soft to stay. But he's going to avoid the side pocket as well. Oh, he hit that thing. This has been such an interesting rack. I'm surprised. I think I look for Cena to take a break soon. He's, he's out of it mentally right now. So here's a good question because the six ball, he's on the wrong side to get to the seven, mm -hmm. even though the seven's sitting out there. So you don't want to, he's on the rail, you don't want to put the inside on the rail, the ball yeah. can skid. Do you hit it just soft and to play, take, take the seven down table? Yeah, I think so. Unless, unless it depends. Actually, given what the eight is, yeah. As I say, if he could come out, you know, even, mm -hmm. even up table but still have an angle to cut the seven mm -hmm. in, I'd say that's fine. But given where the eight is, 
any any thin cut on the is taking it towards the eight. Right. See, he's so looking I, at it right now. He's what? like, shoot, I'm going to have a thin cut on the seven. Like, if he was an inch or two off the belt, he could put a good bit of inside on it. He'd be all right, but so he, I don't like this. I don't like this. I think he's okay. I think he's... He's think, going to run into the rail and into the eight. You think so? I think he's thin enough that he's going to he's gonna miss the eight. Okay. Oh, well, and we'll see. But no. I, I think in that, I think, yeah, yeah it's, coming it's, down it's, here. It's he might, he might miss the eight. He it's gonna be close. The yeah. There's a potential to bump into the eight, scratch. I, I like your shot there. I think the only thing that was scary is the fact that I have to roll it. You know, slow roll the six will want to take. No, you can still go use a good stroke. You wouldn't have to like slow yeah. roll. You're not trying to leave it on the rail. You get to use a, you know. Yeah. Okay, you were right. But I mean, it was close. It was close. very close. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes with size pockets like that, you can you can create an angle that's not quite mm -hmm. in the center of the pocket, which I think he he did there a little bit. All right, six five, and that's, uh, I'm that's not going to press anything until he makes the ball. I don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> Cena's break. So you think Cena should take a uh, a mental break here? I think he should, um, you know, go outside and scream or something. No, that doesn't work. I'm trying it. I tell you. <laughs> but he's definitely he's definitely out of sorts. Oh, your food's here. Oh, thank you. I actually ordered two for me. But oh, that's okay. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I got food coming anyway. What do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> but if Kevin wants one, he can have I, one. I have food coming, so I'm good. I thought I'd better give you two plates. Thank you. <laughs> Those are big slices. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to tip her in a minute. I'll have to 20s. I like that cool down. This, is, this match is interesting now. 5-6 is a big difference between, it's what six. was it, 6-2? Six, six? Yeah, I think it was 6-2, six six two. Two, yeah. It's, it's become more of a psychological battle than a, than a pool battle right now. Because we know these guys, both guys play better than they're playing right now. Mm -hmm. They both play better. So now it's, now it's all up top, up in the head. Francis looks way more relaxed than he did. Which is not surprising. Mm. This is what Cena wanted. He wanted a nice easy rack. <laughs> Assuming there's a five ball, go I think the five ball goes through between the seven and the nine too. So That makes it even easier. Even it easier, yeah. Yeah. He could play it yeah. on the side, he could play it in the corner, he could play the 5-6 combo, the 6 balls. I mean, you know, he has I, all kinds of options for the 5-ball if he wants them. I think, what do you, uh, what do you like, do you follow this forward? I do. Two rails? I do, then, and that come way, under it. That way he has the angle to just go play the 5 in the same pocket, or like you said, even the side pocket. Okay. You but he's got it? a good angle here to now just go like one rail between the 5 and the 9 here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's actually better because he's he's guaranteed to be on the right side. He doesn't want to be on the side of the five when he's going towards a seven and a nine. <laughs> you know, if you come if you come the other way, or we under hit it. No, it's okay. I mean, if he if he was on the other side of the five, he has to deal with the seven more potentially. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. he doesn't have anything else. <laughs> Six balls on. I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, that six balls hanging down there in that pocket. No, how deep is that six ball? He's thinking. It's about not. It. Actually, it doesn't look uh, that deep, so you, you can, can, see, he, yeah, you you can, can just go off the side rail. Mm -hmm. No, he actually had two rails there. Is that right? He, I think so. He overhit it a little bit again. And he, he gave a little tap, like, slow down, slow down. Yeah. You know. He's alright, but it's not ideal. 
he either has to slow roll this in and take a little bit of a cut on the nine, and he's distracted by it. Who is that? Yeah. You apologize, but sometimes it's too late. And I, just don't, I don't think he's going to roll this, so I think he's going to come back Go across back the table. He's, so he's trying to put it inside on I, it off the I rail. Don't think, I don't think he'll put it inside. I think he'll just leave himself longer. Because this isn't too bad. I mean, I mean <laughs> it's not too bad. I mean, one more rotation on that ball and he's in the drink. Yeah. So he jumped him, up. It cost him in the end. He was standing up by the time yeah. that ball stopped moving. So getting slightly out of line, he, he decided to guarantee the seven, not, not mess around with any you know, in, inside English or right. slow rolling it. But, but, it, but nine it ball him. players try and get better position on that, yeah. I think. This is not a gimme for Francis, I'm telling yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Ooh. All right, all tied up. Race of three. I'm surprised that, that ball went in on this table. That would have gone in on any of the other tables, but I'm surprised it went. No, you'd be surprised. Sometimes these tighter pockets, the way they're cut compared to the bigger pockets here, mm -hmm. you can hit the rail going in. Whereas in the, in the bigger pocket, sometimes you can't hit the rail going in. That, you that forget, should, that I'm used to playing on diamonds. You yeah. hit the rail going in, they're not going to go in at all. Yeah. Now these pockets are, are somewhat. In some situations, these pockets are more forgiving than the uh, whatever the size of these other ones are, like four and a, four right. three quarters, whatever they are. Because the you know, the big pockets are flat, the the uh, the flared. So you hit something down the rail hard, and all of a sudden it doesn't go. So. Yeah, it's kind of ugly. You think you can slide over there behind the um, yeah, I do. Whatever it is, behind like the four ball. Four ball, yeah. The problem yeah. is, uh, make the one and it might run into the six and just hang there. Yeah. So if you don't get behind it, but you can do it. Let me give a quick update on uh, other matches. Yeah. Yeah. We got uh, Luke Lau up five four over Phil Prentice. Vilmos Foldus up 4 nothing over Sal Butera. Uh, Chris Adams up 5-4 over Tyler Steyer. Jason Chris Crissel? Chrisley? Crissel, I think they said earlier. Up 6-4 over Chino Reyes. Steve Strange and Ray Ray. Uh, Ray Ray's up 7-5. Ramil Gallego and Mike Adame. That is all tied up in 2-2. James Cabal, Ken Johnson, 4-3 uh, James. Drew Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Philip Carranza uh, fills up 4-2. Foch, Garcia, and Bo Runnigan, that is all tied up at 2. Ramin Bakhtiari and Chris Dele, Dele, Dele. Um Ramin is on the hill at 8 against Chris is 6. Don McClellan, Cole Gibbons, that is 3-2 Don. Bob Diplache and Melissa Shabazi, 5-5. Five, five. Tony Castro, Alex Alaga. Alaga, I think. Alaga. Yeah. Uh, Tony's down 2 4, so Alex is up 4 2. Kimo Molina, Nacho Gomez, uh, 6 4 in favor of Kimo. Sam Kim, Nelson Coyle, tied up at 5 5. Scott Slayton, Jason Piao, uh, that is a tight match at 8 7, Scott. Jonathan Albe, Bob Joss, uh, 7 6, Bob. And Nyan Tamarkar and Spencer Ladden, Nyan's leading 5 3 in that match. Okay, so what do we got here? Well, what it's is, makeable. Yeah, where's the two ball? Well, what's the next one? Is the three the two, ball next? No, I think the two ball is right down here by the nine. Okay. So, I actually see a two so yeah, ball. So, so if he makes, he makes the one, he's got natural shape, but it is it's definitely a tight angle on the side. The good news is that if he misses it, though, he's probably going to leave it safe because of the eight ball, yeah. because of the where cue ball's going. The only way that could have gone wrong is if he had hit the uh, upper... Um, Point. Point. That's the, that's the word I want to use on the stream, yes. <laughs> In England, we call it the knuckle, which is a lot easier. The knuckle? Yeah. Okay. You can call it a knuckle. That's fine. <laughs> so what has Francis got here? A two, two rail kick? One rail if you're going to try it. If you want to try and make it. In the side. Head it in. I don't like the two rail kick. I think I feel like you sell out here. 
not if you make it. I feel it. like you make it here. <laughs> well, you hook yourself. And you hook yourself on the line. Well, I mean, uh, you the just way, kick this one in now. The way you hit it, I mean, he could have actually got saved that way too. You know, yeah. If he hit it thick, it would have come back up table a little bit. I mean, it's, it's hard. I mean, it all depends on how you hit it. Is. We'll see. Now he can make this one too, but the cue ball's going to travel too far for the three ball. Yeah. And he did make it, but yeah, like you said, unless. Unless it's low enough to avoid the scratch here, which, you know, the way he's looking at it, he's not concerned about the scratch. Alright. So, this will be a very nice out if he makes it. Oh, he wiggled that yeah. one. Wiggled it in. Kevin, you know your, your foot's here. I'll bring it over here right here, right? Okay. You're cool with that? Yeah. Wiggled it. Okay, in. thanks. And it's going to go forward. No, stop the ball right there. Yeah. He looks, he's moving faster. Mm -hmm. He looks so much more comfortable here. He looks like he's been in control of this match the whole time. Like he oh, was not down 6-2. I mean, he's, he's won the last four games. Yeah. Maybe. And Cena is staring off in the space like yeah. somebody killed his dog. Oh, we keep doing this. So we're going to stop talking. Every time we say something. I don't know why he did that, though. Yeah, I would have played the eight in the bottom corner. Right? Yeah. He literally had a stop shot to win that game. Yeah. Very interesting choice. And now Cena's just going to stop this ball. Oh, and he really, he really locked him up. Well, can't quite tell. It's very close to frozen to the line, but not quite. Francis is kicking himself right now. I can't tell if he can kick one rail to try and make this on the side or not. I think that's what he's looking at. Praying for a roll here. Oh, uh, uh, he, he got, got it. Roll. Oh, wow. Seen that shaking. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. There you start. Oh, did you just... shut that one in too? No, but he left it safe. Oh, did I just say that on the stream? My bad. I'm so sorry. Probably not. I meant that he slapped that one in too. <laughs> I actually didn't see that, but um... He missed it. It looked like it rattled, given where the yeah. angle went, I think it must have rattled. And uh, he missed it and got kind of a good roll here. Yeah, Cena is gonna... I apologize for my mouth, people. I think he's gonna thin off the left side of this ball. Yes. Just trying to leave distance. No, no okay. he's gonna... Oh. No, that's okay. Yeah. That's a good shot. In fact, if he slides by the nine, that's a great shot. He doesn't have enough to stick it though. He has to hit the uh, the left side of the eight ball, I think. Mm -mm. You well, think he can stick it? Yeah, I do. Okay. That makes a big difference. Whether he wants to or not. <laughs> if you're going to stick it, you might as well go for the bank. But you can cross it. You can cross bank it too. Just like I'll what Cena did. Yeah, yeah. You're right though. He, he could see enough to yeah. stick it for sure. Yeah. He let it leak out just a hair, but does Cena bank it? Does Cena play safe? I think Cena plays safe. I think we'll see him. He can, he can thin it and try and bring the cue ball back around the nine again. Or he's, uh, I think he's going to put, put the, the eight ball behind the nine. Yeah, and go up table with the cue ball. Thank you. Francis has an opportunity to do the same shot he just did. Except he's frozen to the top rail mm -hmm. now. So, much harder shot now. The important thing though is just to put the eight on the side rail. Right? Yeah. Where the cue yeah. ball goes. Make him, make him at least make a bank. Yep. Yeah, he's playing the same shot. Okay. He's sold out. Yeah. You gotta put that eight on the side rail. Because even if he ran into the, even if you run into the nine like he did, but the eight was on the side rail, what was he going to do? Yeah. Fourth match. Oh, see, so hit that with authority. He, he's mad. I'm gonna tell you something. If I was a betting woman, I would have said Francis would have been up seven six after this rack again. Mm -hmm. He had two, three chances at it. Let's see what happens here. Last time Cena broke, he had a roadmap. 
Right. I mean, but he didn't get out. He didn't get out. Well, I mean, if he breaks like that again, I, I, I look for him to get out this time. One went in the side. One definitely went in. Oh, look um, at that. The two's hanging right there by the pocket. He's got to avoid that. I think he can spin around that traffic, right? Mm -hmm. He can just put some outside English on this. Mm -hmm. And where we got the four ball. So again, he, he has a reason. I mean, I think he has, again, the five ball and he really has one yeah, ideal. The four, the one four to the three to the four to the five is a little tricky, yeah. but it's now that it's... So now you'd expect Cena to make. Yeah. Yeah, generally. It's is navigable a word? No, it, he can navigate it. Yes, <laughs> navigable. Yeah. Navigable. I don't know if it's a word or not, but if it isn't, it's it is now. It's close enough. <laughs> it's negotiable. He can he can negotiate his way through this rack yeah. carefully. He doesn't want to run into anything here. So I can't quite tell, but I think he can just stop this and cut the four. In. Um, I think. He he could. He's got a slight angle, so I think he'll probably go forward. Here. Nope, he's queuing low, so he can. If you draw it back even an inch, though, I think you'll yeah, slightly hook yourself. So, but it's gonna slide over a little bit. Let's see. But he's got more angle than he well, way yeah. more angle than he wanted. Yeah. Um, I think I like your shot there. Actually, like go forward I and, and forward. try and go into the eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Off the rail, maybe yeah. into the eight or the nine. The uh, five. Did I say the nine? Yeah. The eight or the five? <laughs> the orange one or the black one? Yeah. Because <laughs> even if he had missed those two, he still would have had a cut on the four ball. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I see him playing safe here now, though. Uh, actually, he just wants to get out. No, there's a two-way bank here, though. He can bank this on the side with, with safety. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he should be playing. It doesn't look like he's playing an all-out safety. I'm trying to leave the four behind yeah, the eight. Yeah, Jason Did he get it? I can't tell. He got it. He got it? Yeah, okay. Francis is going to have to go to the side rail to kick this. He left it on the he rail, though, so it is kickable. It is makeable. It's a big ball. Right there, and seen a jump. Yeah, just seen a jump. He does jump, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I don't see him jumping very often, so I can't comment on his, you know, his skill level in, mm -hmm. that, in that department. But he certainly can jump. The problem with the jump here is a lot of times when players jump, they, they put a little bit of draw on the ball. Mm -hmm. He might run right into the nine. Yeah, you never. You kind of want this to be followed. Mm -hmm. If he if he goes if he decided to go one rail and try and kick this in one rail, he would have more natural shape. Actually, not really because the five doesn't pass the eight. Mm -mm. Unless you hit it hard, one two, you know, hit across. Yeah. But I just diagram with my finger for Kevin, but you guys can't <laughs> see that. But that's what we need for next next season. Telestrator. Telestrator. Wouldn't that be great? Go old school. <laughs> players never jump the ball so let's see he might be hitting too high on that ball no I, he actually tends to hit low he hits okay. pretty low like there's a couple of times and i've seen him jump i'm like is he gonna scoop it he doesn't scoop it but he's he definitely he hits hit the low side he hit it good but didn't make it and francis and, has a cut of a ball yeah and and natural shape for the five mm -hmm. so. Uh, 
Uh, he's slightly the wrong side, but I think he's okay. He can just use the 8 to stop it. Yeah, he's leaving himself distance on the 6, but he's pushing the 8 towards the corner pocket, so shape should be, you know, shouldn't be a problem from the 6. You can actually play the 8 as a rail here and go forward. Okay. Just like that. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> hit that pretty good. He hit that pretty sporty. And he's got a pinch draw on here. He can either go to the rail, which he's had a pretty big stroke on it, mm -hmm. or he can just pinch it and just come back straight, avoid that side pocket altogether, draw it straight back. Just like that, but... Uh, you know, that's not uh, gonna make it. He's, he's okay. I mean, he's back on the ball, which I think he wanted to be, but... That's okay. Now he'll probably play the nine in the side. Yeah, and I think, yeah, it's, it's laying pretty natural for that. And the nine in the side is, I can see it from here, it's a lot easier than it looks on the screen. Stay down, Francis. Yeah, oh, he ran into it. Into it a bit, but it's okay. I mean, that's... To be honest, I mean, he would have been really unfortunate to clip that nine and not get a shot. Right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was the advantage of going that way. Yeah. You know? Even though I think he didn't intend to be on that side of the eight ball. You know, Cena's taking a break. All right, seven, Fran seven. Francis's break. So, so now do I, do you know, I just click on these and say... Oh, for the uh, we'd like to. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Thank the official <laughs> cloth sponsor, cloth the sponsor of the Mez West State Tour, Andy Billiard Cloth. With with raw hair, without with raw hair, we're a little lost on yeah. these, you know. I'd like to thank Fast and Loose Designs. Chris Santana. Who we miss, he's not here either. Maybe I'll skip around a little bit here. Tony Rodriguez, Remax Gold Coast Realtors. If you're in the market for a house in the Ventura County area, contact Tony Rodriguez. Another sponsor. Doing great, Melissa. You're doing great. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a natural. <laughs> <laughs> You're really telling. I'm just gonna run through all of them right now while. Uh, and our ability. I apologize. <laughs> this is this is not my forte. But uh, technically, Francis doesn't have to wait, but he's being the gentleman. And then yeah. when he, even I seen it took a break. You wanna on, do one? Which one is this? Arab with balls, billiards and balls. I don't know what they call it. <laughs> Official ball sponsor. Official ball sponsor, yeah. Best, 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 best balls in the business. <laughs> and these we're playing with the new, uh, the new. I don't know what they call them, the pro, the pro cup series or something. These new ones we have this season. Um, it's the ones they're playing with right now. It's a new, new series of Aramith uh, pro balls. Okay. Um, obviously, they play as well as every other Aramith ball does. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> they all play pretty good. There's nothing like playing with a brand new set. Yeah. Alright, practice. So we're all tied up at seven, right? Yeah. We are, and he has um, failed we, to make a ball in the break. And left the shot, but uh, he's stretching. Stretching, kind of chapped up. Yeah. Potentially with a bridge. Yeah, Although but, I would expect him to be very proficient with the bridge. Yes. This is not going to be a hindrance to him. The only interesting thing is uh, so he's looking for a different bridge. The bridges we use in England are very different to the ones here. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, he's, there's a bridge on the side of the table here, but he doesn't want to use it because it's um, it's not what he's used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, playing snooker, there's actually there's like five different types of bridge snooker. He could push here instead of taking a shot he's uncomfortable with. He could literally yeah, push here. He's looking. He's looking for another. Um, yeah, in snooker, there's I want to say there's there's four or five different types of bridge. Like you have one that's specifically with this type of thing where you're going over the top of a ball. Mm -hmm. um, it has the, the arch for the bridge and then it has an extension on it which you put the cue on top of. Okay. So you um, you go already over the top of the ball without having to aim down like this. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it makes a big I mean obviously snooker's a much bigger table, so you need to do that kind of thing a lot more often, but that's expected. He's you know, he made that ball. I've got a lovely little bump to be Close to, you know, with a great shot on the two ball here. Yeah, I think he's just going to roll this in and take the three up table. I don't think he's going to mess around with trying to get. Oh, it looks like he, 
He's like three inside. inside. Okay. Yeah. Hard to see maybe from where you're sitting, but if you look at it on the yeah. monitor, you can see. But I actually like you. I like going forward here and actually playing the three up table. Which is what he ended up doing. A little roughly, but he, he did it. He overran it because he, he overcut that ball a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And now he's got to be careful when he gets on the floor because he needs to get back down table. And the four doesn't go in that corner pocket. Mm -mm. And if he plays with the side pocket, it's hard to get above the four and get the right angle. So he's going to have to go around the table. Uh, he did it about as perfect as you could, but I think, I think he's okay. I think he's alright. Yeah. That was a nice, that was a good touch. That was a kind of touchy shot to get the right side of the four there. I'm kind of fortunate that the three went in because it rattled a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Sometimes you need a little love though, you know? Yeah. Well, kind of a steep cut here to hold this ball, so you go up and down, trying to play the six, what do you... He slow rolls it? No, he's going to let loose a little bit. Yeah, he did slow roll. He's going to be short, I think, which is surprising, right? You, that's the one side you wouldn't think he'd end up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you can go that whole length of the table and be all right. And he's shaking his head a little bit, like, now what? Fortunately for him, the seven is close to the mm -hmm. pocket. I'm not sure what he's doing. Is he's he going he to draw up to the top rail with some outside spin. I thought he would get. I thought he would dig in deeper, like mm -hmm. he would get. He wouldn't be so far up along the uh, top rail there. The way he actually hit it, he would have been better off at inside English. Yeah, and actually double true. double the corner. Bump, bump. <laughs> thought the angle that he had though, he could have gone one, two, three, and come like, one, two, three, four rails. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. He just cut that ball and that was... Did he cut it in or go rail first? No, he cut it in. Huh? He literally, I mean, it looked like it was over 90 degrees, right? <laughs> Obviously it wasn't, but he hit it with an inside English too. He's falling back to his what he's comfortable just with. Just gonna make the ball. Just make the ball, yeah. But you know, when you're in when you're at this stage of the match, it's not a bad thing to do where right? you go back to what you're comfortable with. Potential to scratch here if he goes forward. Yeah. But you don't want to put outside on this ball, you don't want to spin off. Yeah. See? Potential yeah. to scratch here. But you don't want to, you know, you don't want to put outside on the ball either because you can't yeah. dig in and put the, the low on yeah. the So, all right. Cena with a scrappy little out gets on the hill first at 8-7 and he's got the break. So he has the potential to close out this match right here. And his last two breaks have been fantastic. Although I don't think he got out. Did he get out of that last one? Mm -mm. He didn't, right? Because, mm -mm. oh, he ended up playing safe on the floor. Mm -hmm. bit of everything in this match. It's off Cena come on real strong mm -hmm. and then uh, fall back a little bit, take his foot off the gas as you called it. You saw Francis, you know, being scrappy, getting in there and it might not have been pretty all the time, but getting out, tying it up. That one out by Francis that could have put him ahead seven, six. Yeah. Well, we've got another interesting rack here. Although he's got a, he's got a good safety here. From the angle that I'm sitting at, it looks like he'll if he hits the right side of the one, he'll just scratch. But I can see on the no, monitor, no, yeah, he can actually got, thin he's got it. Room, yeah, try and come, you know, a little bit, a little bit lower than where he is with the table right now. Rumble's obviously going to stay exactly where it is. Yeah, you're going to try and cut this into the five, not into the rail. Well, you didn't slip, you didn't slip out. But I think he got it. No. Whoo! Really hard to tell from here. If I'm looking at it at the table, 
it looks like he can Francis yeah, can see but it. I just looked at Cena's face. He can't he can't make it. You might be able to see it, but he can't make it. I just read the players' faces. That's okay. that's, that's my right. uh, that's my technique. Alright. Well, I think well, if there was bluffing in the pool, <laughs> no. would, wouldn't that be great? No, no, you're really hooked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll kick at the ball. Are you sure? <laughs> He's spinning. No, banking. Uh, it's not too bad. If it, uh, it keeps going, yeah, he has The one ball doesn't go. He has a crazy shot, but I don't think he wants to take that on. The back cut here? The back cut or cut it in the side. That the back cut here is what my opponent did to me. <laughs> oh my god, he's sick. No, he's gonna play safe here. Yeah. Watch the kissy kissy. Francis should go for this ball. I mean, cue ball is going to end up over there by the two and the five, kind of, right? If you overcut the one ball, it's going to come back down the rail a little bit. You might get a safety here. Yeah, as long as you can avoid the uh, the eight ball. That's the key. He doesn't want to run into the eight ball. Well, I think <laughs> yeah, looking at it on the thing, it looks easier, but... Yeah, we hit the... Oh, I thought he hit it good. It looked good at the side. But, you're, I mean, exactly what you said, right? Exactly what you said. Comes back over and, and the three ball blocks him. Two way shot. Well, not guaranteed two way shot, but chance of being a two way shot. I, mean, actually, like, I actually think that. I see, I was looking at it like maybe he could actually catch a piece of it, but I think he may be kicking at it. But he can he's kick digging. The, he can kick this and stick though. Well, except he's on the rail. That's the top one. But if he can stick it, he'll end up behind that three ball. And he scratched. Well, you play safe here or you squeeze it in there and play that in the side? Can I go in the side? I get you in the way to get there. I, I mean, I, I'm a kind of aggressive player. I like to, Me too. I like to run out. I don't want my opponent <laughs> getting back at the table and Me too. kicking out of something. I, but he is do you know I just noticed that Francis is all tatted up? <laughs> oh, you only just noticed that? <laughs> I was just never looking at it. I was like, I was like, does he have sleeves on? Yeah, he doesn't like it because it's so close right there. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, I can understand that. It's definitely, it's touchy. Does he, I mean, does he have a really lock-up safety? We'll see, he can play a simple safety to slide the one past the five, but it's... Okay, I like what he's doing here. He's jacking up, some angle. playing the two in the same pocket. Yeah. I was thinking about rolling Following forward, playing the yeah. two in the opposite side, but I like what he did there. That was a good shot. That made it a lot of bit easier. Yeah, no. A lot no. of bit easier. Now the owl is. <laughs> yeah, everything, everything's nice and you know, every, three, four, five, all same, same end of the table. Seven, eight, nine. I think. Oh, I'm not going to say anything. Let's just watch. Let's just. He went forward with inside there, and this is interesting. I'm gonna watch, see what he does. Looks like he's drawing the ball. Just middle of the table, middle of the table. Nothing fancy. The key here is just don't hook yourself and leave yourself where you can make the ball. Right? Yeah. He's going now. Do you play? Do you play this to? I mean, he's got choices, right? He can play for the side, he can go around I the think eight. I play for the side. Okay. So it looks like he did, yeah. It looks like... Uh, yeah, that's just me. I think I, I think I play for the side. I tend to... Well, I tend to... He, he's overrunning a little bit. I tend to underrun a little bit, so I'm, I would feel safe there. But, um... Get in there! Wow. <laughs> Francis just got a his friend Ray Ray just yelled get in there behind us. <laughs> uh, Ray Ray's yeah. two three tables behind us. Francis is in front of us, but we he, sharked him. He, got could, him. he could have been twenty tables Stay away. Down. Oh he needs a bounce. He needs a bounce. Ooh. That one, I you give it a little juice. Yeah. Right? You don't want to come short, you wanna come long if anything. He's, he's okay. He's 
no scratch involved here. He's just going to make the ball. And he has the break. Hill, hill. Hill, hill. Well, I would not have predicted this. I would have thought uh, Cena was up 6 2. I would have. Yeah. It's just been swings, just swings every Yeah, time. the viewers are getting a lot of pull in this match, <laughs> right? <laughs> Real quick, we want to thank CSI, Q Sports International, official sponsor of the Mez West State Tour. And I would like to say again how much we miss Raw Hannah, our normal commentator, the man with the plan, the, yeah, the voice did. behind the tour. He'd have some rhymes for this Hill Hill match. <laughs> I don't have any. What rhymes with Hill? <laughs> Pill? <laughs> As in, I'll take one if I lose. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he made a ball, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have a battle. I think. Uh, does it go? Well, it's hard to Ooh, tell. I, it is hard to tell. It is hard. But he, he can see both sides of the one ball. I just don't know how much of yeah. that side that he can see where he can cut it. But it's a, um, but if he, if he can, it's a wide open rack. If he can, I go it's, for it. It's a wide open rack, yeah. You get position on that too, and you, you I feel like you're done, right? You should you should be yes. Yeah. I mean, this match has definitely had some turns. <laughs> That's the but, most balls he's made on the break. That's like the best. You know, he really hasn't had like an open see, rack. He to looks shoot he looks like he's shooting. Out. Yeah. Maybe he might have to spin it in a little bit, but that actually helps carry it to the two ball. Oh, he can make it. He's, oh, he doesn't want to nudge that forward. Okay, he's okay. He's okay. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. I just, you know, this <laughs> could have got a fun for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, just roll the two in here, take the three in the side. I gotta tell you, I like that he took an aggressive yeah. shot at that one, though, instead of you know, kind of baby it and hold it. He's, he's letting his stroke out. I don't agree with that one. No, I think he, he doesn't want it. I think, you know, given... He doesn't want to baby anything? Given the stakes, yeah, he wants to hit everything nice and firm. But... Oh, I'm up. I just think when you're running into balls constantly, eventually something's going to go wrong. Yeah, I mean, he's, he has a top shot now. It looks, it looks tougher on the monitor than it does sitting here. To me, right here, it looks yeah. easy, but... Well, I think the thing that's tough about it is I think he's tracking towards the corner pocket. Mm -hmm. But let's see. Did he, I mean, did he put a bit of insight on that ball? I can tell. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. Where the cue ball landed, he did. Which obviously makes it much tougher but to see, make But see, he got down and just fight. He didn't yeah. like stay down on that one. You gotta stay. I know they called you, but you gotta stay. You gotta right, see what I'm happens. I got 15 see minutes. Fire? Comes around one, two, one, two, three, maybe I four mean, rows. You can play this two way if you're ready, kind of being a little bit like you know, well you'll be careful of the scratch but he can play the four in the same pocket as the three you know i don't put any english on this ball though if anything maybe like even a hair of inside yeah, yeah. and just come but i don't try to outside the because when you're coming into that that might yeah, you, don't, you don't want to mess around on the pocket this is this is his Especially strength. because he knows he's he's been. I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not saying this in a negative way, but he has been dogging it a little bit. Yeah. He's been missing balls that you don't normally expect him to, as the match has gotten tighter and tighter. So I like Francis's way of doing it, which is letting the stroke white out, just like this. Except he's gonna run into it. You know he's gonna come right around it. Oh yeah. Perfect, perfect shape now. Uh, do you draw this back to play it on the side, or are you going to take this in the I think corner? it depends on how good I'm feeling. Yeah. But yeah, if yeah. I'm feeling good, I drive back to play on the side. Just like that. And he's a little short, but it doesn't really matter. You can go around the nine. You can go around the nine, you can, the do, nine, yeah. you can come down to the end, draw it down to the end rail. Back. I you think he's flat enough. enough, he can just... No, no, I think he's coming down to the end rail. Coming down the end rail and back up. He's going around, okay. We get overhead out. No, he's alright. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, but he'd be alright. He was.
Well, there we have it. There you go. Yeah, it's topsy turvy match. All right, I gotta get a play. Incredible. I got a nice easy match. Mitch Ellerman. Mitch Ellerman? Yeah, I don't even know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> I got a better break and run eight, that's all I can say. He's from a red state. Kick his ass. Alright, I'll see you later. Alright. Take a few minutes to thank some more of our sponsors. Mez Cues, the official cue sponsor and title sponsor of the Mez West State Tour. James Handshoe Jump Cues, uh, one of the best if you want to get airborne, buy a James Handshoe. The Turtle Rack, we all love our Turtle Racks, the official rack sponsor of the Mez West State Tour. Uh, we use them, we love them, they're the best. West State Billiards, uh, it's been a sponsor of mine personally. And uh, I'd like to thank them for their sponsorship. But they are also one of the main sponsors of the West, obviously the Mez West State <laughs> uh, tour. And uh, they've been great to us. So if you're in the need for billiard supplies, tables, uh, game room supplies, contact West State. Tell them you heard about them, and they'll they'll hook you up. On the wire, creative media. If you're looking to build yourself a website, need some photos taken, professional, uh, they can do any kind of media stuff for you. That's on the wire creative media, that's Roth and Bo, and uh, they'll, they'll take care of you. And one last one, Zan Tips, uh, tip sponsor of the Bez West State Tour. I'm not sure who we've got coming up here on the stream next, but I'm guessing it'll probably be a winner's side match. And we've got some great players in the field, so we'll probably see some, some talent. The brackets uh, for the Mez West State Tour can be located at www.mezweststatetour.com. The brackets are on there. You should be able to see uh, who's left on the winner's side. They will be taking it down, I believe, to four players on the winner's side today and eight players on the loser's side to come back tomorrow. So they'll bring back 12 players tomorrow. players from kind of all over. Uh, <clears throat> this is known as Lane Lake California Tour, obviously, but we've got players traveling down from Northern California. And for those of you who are watching, who've maybe never been to California, and you don't know how long, uh, you know, the, the state really is. We've got players driving down from Sacramento, which is the state capital, to San Diego. And uh, it's maybe an eight to nine hour drive. So they're driving here. We've got players from Arizona coming. That's another five, six hours. And uh, we actually have Tyler Steyer in the house, who's a great junior player. Um, he's not junior anymore. I believe he's 19 or 20, but he uh, came here from maybe Wisconsin, I believe. Uh, so he came out here because he's, you know, friends with Oscar and uh, wanted to come out and see what the Mez West State Tour was all about and, and play an event and have a good time. And up next we have Damian Redman, a local SoCal player. He plays in the Santa Barbara area uh, versus Ray Ray, one of the characters of the tour. <laughs> and I believe these are both eights, so it's uh, an even raced eight. You're having difficulty. Shut it down. <laughs> Ray Ray says we are having. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't want me commentating his match and talking about him. I'm gonna be able to make a ball. Ah, you can make a ball. I guarantee you'll make at least two. <laughs> uh, if you'll excuse me for just one moment, I'm gonna have to get. Oscar and Desiree over here to set up for the next match.
Huh? Oh, thanks. Got a cute peach. Thanks. 